everyone, and welcome back to the Lightcast. I'm Jay, otherwise known as Jay Light over on Twitch. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Welcome back to the Lightcast. It has been a while, but it hasn't been a while in a bad way, has it, Alan? It hasn't been... We haven't forgot about the podcast, have we? We haven't Alan? forgot at all, I promise it's, you. It's just been very busy. We've been releasing... I've had three songs out now, and... um. Alan's been busy. Alan's been with his I'm charity bold. merch. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> Alan has gone bald. Uh, we're going to dive into that in a second. <laughs> I was just, sorry. Um, so yeah, it's been a very busy month. And yeah, we are back. We're going to be doing episodes every two weeks, I promise, okay? Uh, like usual from now on. I mean, it hasn't been years. It's only been like four oh. weeks. It hasn't been, yeah, like... and. It's not bad. It's just I know because we've both been so busy, so it's yeah. not sort of understandable. Like, <laughs> Please you forgive got, me. You guys won't understand how long it took us to actually plan this episode. Yeah, like there's so much gone on. So much has gone on, and like we just need to do. I think we need to do an episode in two weeks where we just talk about everything else that's gone on. Oh. And um, another thing I want to address that I addressed on stream yesterday: we have not replaced Henry with Alan just yet. He's okay? lying. He's lying. I'm not lying. I, people were like, have you fallen out with Henry? What's that? I was like, I have not fallen out with Henry at all. Henry was my best friend. But Henry also has A-levels at the same time. And I don't want to keep mm-hmm. pestering Henry to plan episodes and do our episodes and all this stuff when he needs really good grades to go to uni. Whereas I still want good grades, but I don't, you know. You ain't really fussed. I'm not, no, I'm not that I'm not fussed. I'm still revising stuff. But if I get, I'm more aiming for C's and B's, which I will get. I know I will. Um, but Henry needs like two A's and a B, otherwise he can't get into his uni or something like that. So he needs to really try. So that's what I want to address. Henry will be back, but don't be like, where is Henry? Um, Alan. Um, but not forgotten. Sorry. Yes, Henry is not forgotten. And, you know, he I've always said, <laughs> yeah, we have such plans for the podcast anyway, don't we, Alan, which we're going to get into. Yeah, that's the thing. The, uh... Yeah, oh, like we... We love the podcast being on the side and we love using it as a platform. But, you know, I do music, I do content creation, I do loads of stuff like that. And Alan has his own stuff going on. So once we I have do content podcast... creation now. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, my God. Alan has finally got back into content creation. I think it's just we've, we've always got plans for this podcast and there is so much more coming its way. It's, we, we love it. Don't think that we don't. We are not active. We're not not basically we're not, not active because we're lazy. There's so much going on. Some of us are. But I'm also not. Don't make it sound like a burden. I love doing this. So yeah. Anyway, Alan, how have you been? I am good. How are you? I'm doing really good. I have had like the best month ever in a long time. Like releasing. So when we spoke about haunted last time into a big deep dive, and I actually, if you're new to the scene, I released two new singles two weeks ago now, called Wildflower and a surprise drop. Wildflower. Wildflower. Um. Yes. So also I dropped a remix made by me and my friend and like other people. So that was fun. Um, and it's just been popping off like crazy. And yeah, I'm still working on the album, which is taking hours and hours. And it's super exciting. And I can't wait uh, for everything that's come with that. So Alan, speak more about what happened yesterday, please, because it was absolutely <laughs> insane. So if a lot of you don't know, I'm now a Twitch content creator, believe it or not. And this month... We decided to just do a charity month, did we not? Yeah, it was so good. Um, our goal was for uh, £250. We have completely smashed that out the park. I'm not even joking when I say that. We've now raised £397. So amazing. If I could do a round of applause. Everyone, if, you, if you're on the train right now, if you're, if you're listening on your way to work or school, just clap. I don't care. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but yeah. You know what's it's... even more insane? What? The fact we raised £110 in one hour of the first day of the live stream. I know. Oh my I god, it's been, cried. it's been such a crazy month for you, and I'm so glad that me and Nan could help as well. Oh we yeah? Had, <laughs> it's been like, me and Nan decided to do our stream, a cooking, baking stream. Nan decided to do one of her cooking lessons, um, which was really, really fun. And we raised, I think we raised quite a lot of money. We raised like 50? 50? Yeah, which is, I went into it, like, I wasn't expecting to raise any money, you know, like, and people were just, like, really kind, it was amazing, and really good to help out, um, towards the charity, do you want to speak about the charity just, like, quickly? 
Um, so the money is all going towards the Royal Orthopaedic. The Royal Orthopaedic is very close to a lot of my family's heart. It is the hospital that looked after my nan when she went in for her hip replacements and stuff like that. So that's that was her wish that when she passed, all of the funding from like her funeral that we donated and stuff all went to the Royal Orthopaedic. I think it's just so amazing, like... When you announced, when you were like talking to me about this like a couple months ago, I was like, oh my God, it's going to be so good. And I like, I don't think we were, I, we were, you weren't really expecting like this much love, were you? Like, no, no. We, we just went in, like you went into it and I was expecting like just have loads of fun, like with these donations. So you we wore, like, <laughs> you wore like a maid's dress, you shaved oh, your beards. Great. <laughs> and then yesterday you shaved all your hair off. And can I just say how absolutely calm you were? I was sitting in this chair like stressed out like literally speechless my mouth was like literally like wide open like oh my god and your chat was literally loving it and i was there was a couple of people that had the same reaction as me like what the fuck is going on but it was like <laughs> could you, you imagine just so calm in <laughs> to start it and then i just said that <laughs> i said that and your cousin laughed Paige, because she i was like imagine if someone clicked on the stardew category on twitch and they just see you with your mum just like leant back in your chair with all your <laughs> hair being shaved off. Do you know what it, though? Like, not trying to like big up or anything, but like it doesn't actually look as bad as I thought it would. Like it does, it, it, I mean, it, it's not really the look, you know, but it's still, you know. I look like a criminal, what do you mean? Yeah, but it's not like terrible, like, oh my God, I can't even imagine what I would look like. But um, <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> no, never, ever, 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 ever going to happen. Um... Did you go to work today? Yeah. What did they think? Uh, the first guy said to me, what the hell have you done to your hair? Yeah, normal. The second guy went, how much did you raise in the end? <laughs> so did you wear a hat or did you just, like, just go in bald? I just went in bald. Oh my God. You I know, go outside. they all knew, they all, the thing is that they all know I'm doing a charity month. It's yeah, yeah. been shown around for me getting my chest waxed. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. And um, what was I going to say to you? How long do you think it's going to take to grow back? That's what I was going to say. Well, my hair grows quick, so I'm hoping by two weeks I'll have some hair. <laughs> two weeks? It's going to be. Oh, it's going to. Oh, God, I can't. Oh, my God, I'm going on holiday bald. When are you going on holiday? The 6th of May. <laughs> oh, my God. Where are you going? Wales. <laughs> oh, very bougie. I'm sure the Welsh will love it. I was gonna say something and I've stopped myself. Okay. Yeah, maybe yeah, I was I was like, oh god, here he goes. But um <laughs> yeah. anyway, what should we dive into first, Alan? Have you got questions in front of you that you want to ask about? I've got twelve questions. Okay, so should we just get into that now? Yeah. I think Welcome to the a... deep dive of, of Wildflower and All You Need. Yeah, I know. God, there's two songs. Do you know what? Can I just say beforehand? I can I just say a thank you? Because um I think as we speak, all you need is on 1,900 listens or... Excuse me? 1,900 listens just on Spotify alone. Um, Wildflower has gone mad as well. I don't know what's been going on. Um, your reactions, I remember for the rest of my life, it was so funny just to be like, oh, there's a surprise job song. And like, I think I posted some of them on my Instagram. It was just like, especially like, I know Felix and that listening. Felix, you made my day. Like, it's literally so shocked and like, oh, and can I just say a massive thank you to no, James? No, no. Not yet, sorry. No, we're diving into that. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. So <laughs> no! <laughs> don't thank do you, it! James. I'll, do it, I'll do it in a minute, I'll do it in a minute. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was just okay. going to scare everybody that's like on a bike with heavy headphones. <laughs> sorry. I'm there guys in an old episode here. <laughs> There goes roasted into the van that she's, you know. I always, I always find it funny because I can just imagine one of our mods roasted cereal, um, <laughs> just riding along on their bike on the way to school, and like when we make loud noises, and like, oh my god, if they go. No, anyway, because... sorry. Oh, that episode was so funny. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. Watch uh, fun. It. it was one where me and Emery. Was it the one? No, it was the one before me and Henry took over. It was oh. the one just after I'd left Cryptic, and when we was like. No, it was no, it was my first ever episode with you guys. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you're like you're all over like us now. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically the face of it now. 
I'm just going to change the icon to this episode. It's going to be your egg photo of your bald head. <laughs> Me in the maid outfit. Come on. Everybody's going to see that. Zero downloads. Anyway. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, carry right, on. Should we get into the actual yeah. episode now? Sorry. Stop yeah. chatting crap. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm going to kick it off. We're going to get juicy. It means you've spoiled it a little bit already. Sorry. Okay, Car- sorry. What sorry. did you- what did you think about when your name was announced on the radio? Ah, oh, so if you if you sorry if you weren't on the stream a bit of background, <laughs> if you weren't on the stream, um, James, one of my longtime mods and just like great friend and like Alan's friend, we just love James to pieces. Um, love you, so James. He, yeah, <laughs> we just love James, and he said like, "Go live now! If you don't go live now, um." You went, you'll miss it. And all my, I think all the mods knew. I had no, I literally mm-hmm. had zero idea. I had zero, zero idea. The only thing, I knew James was doing something because James messaged me like a week before and said, can you send me the audio file of all you need? I know. You know, when, he's, when he asked you that. Yeah, <laughs> I what did he say? Tesco's petrol station. He messaged me. He was like, I've just messaged Jay for the audio file for all you need. I didn't even oh, question God. it though. Because like James, I trust James about anything. So I knew James was doing something great. Like, I don't know if he was... I don't know what he was doing, but I trusted James. I wasn't expecting the radio, though. Anyway, turn on the um, uh, the stream, and literally perfect timing. All I oh, hear is like, I don't know, it was like brand new single from Jay. First time ever being played on the radio. The intro starts playing. I literally, if you want to see the reaction on video, it's on my TikTok and Instagram, jmusic underscore. Anyway, absolutely literally mind blown like hearing the songs that playing and someone introducing it i had no idea what radio station it was oh my god i literally was i did i was so speechless i instantly fell to the floor i've got my mum in the room and like literally like it was so insane like it was crazy um the basic long story short literally died for about an hour had to recover couldn't do anything was speechless um james told me there was like four thousand three thousand people listening at the time and turns out it was james's dad and that was just insane i ha- i've said thank you so much ti- so many times but that was i will always remember that moment because it was absolutely insane and i was like oh my god it actually sounded good as well and like it was just such a vibe there's some people in the stream and like i was literally speechless and yeah, that was just insane. Like completely, completely, completely insane. Like I'd, I'd have no. I'm still like in shock. It doesn't feel real that happened. And mm-hmm. like just someone that sat there and made that song for ages, and just like I wasn't even gonna release the song. Okay, all you need was a song. I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna stop you there. Okay, <laughs> okay, we'll come back to that as well. Next question. I'm sorry, <laughs> I was expecting you to carry on just without that bit. <laughs> Uh, yeah no that that's i'll stop it there but just thank you They're absolutely insane right to spin off with the question i've just asked, sorry i added the question we've got 13 questions now okay. <laughs> what did your family think about you being your song being played on the radio so if you've watched the if you were in the stream or you watched the playback you've seen your mom's um, reaction <laughs> yeah i my family just got in from like work so my mum was like very close to me, so i screamed mum my mum like comes into the room and she's like, no way. Looks up on her phone and then she's like going crazy. Um, and then my dad was just like really excited as well. And then I called my nan on stream and I called Henry and they were just like, it was so crazy. Like, I think like being on the radio is such a big step up from like being on stream. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, I know the radio isn't as huge as it was, but it's still such a different feeling. Like it's really weird. Like it felt instantly, it felt so real that I released a song and like people listen to it. Like it's weird. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they they were like gassed as well so yeah bless her i love your nan you know your nan yeah, my nan great. is just an icon anyway right. moving on i'm gonna change it up a bit now we're gonna right. talk about you great it's always you <laughs> um sorry um you just let me spit on my tea sorry <laughs> we're gonna be spilling some tea in a minute <laughs> oh. sorry. so Describes the st- oh my god I can't speak. <laughs> You're fired. Describe the strengths that make you a great musician. Strengths. <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry, who who put that question in? That was me. That is a bit. What can that's, I? That's what juicy. Do you... That. What do you think makes me a good musician? Go on. Why no, 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 no. That wasn't the question. I can't be like. I don't know. 
Mm. What, in terms of all my music or a certain song? Let's go off a certain song because obviously you've only released three songs, so... I always try to portray a message in my songs. So, like, Wildflower is all about, like, being yourself. Like... Oh my god, you're ruining all the questions here. <laughs> okay, well, no, okay. So, it's all about a message. I'll talk about the message in a bit. But, like, it's all just... Basically, with every song I create, I always try to put a message behind it. And with the whole, you know, album I'm releasing, so every single song from that I'm releasing up until the album that comes out later in the year, um, will all be on the album. So it mm-hmm. all tells a story, if that makes sense. So that's what I try and picture in my mind. But also, you know, I just, I love songwriting. I think that I, I find it so fun. I can sit there for hours of a song. And I, I think the best thing about songwriting is don't make all your songs sound the same. Be creative um, and just have fun. So that, I think that's what the, I think that's where my best music comes from. And maybe my strength is that, I just go into it not trying to be serious unless, you know, I'm not doing it for anyone else. I'm doing it for me. I mean, there's a couple of songs which, you know, on the album that I think are saying thank you to other people or reflecting on other people. But mainly it's about, you know, mm-hmm. about me. Well, not the songs that written about me, like, you know, anyway, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Right. Let's get a bit more spicy. Jesus, we're losing all the words. Spicy, juicy. God, what's next? Sex it now, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best piece of advice another musician has ever gave you? Um, imagine Ooh. if he said nothing. <laughs> I've ne- well, no one's ever given me like you know. I think shout out to Jennifer Jess. She's been on the podcast about three or four times, deep diving into her songs, and it wasn't exa- exactly advice to me. But advice to everybody that was listening and, you know, she knows I make music and stuff. So I think she's such inspiration like as an independent mm-hmm. artist as well. I think she, what she does with her music is so inspiring and how she outlooks on her music. But I think, you know, bigger artists, like the main artists that inspire me are like, not artists that are in certain genres. Like, you know, my favourite artists are like Beyonce and Rihanna and, you know, stuff like that, and like Lana Del Rey. But like, a main artist that inspires me is Doja Cat, which is mm-hmm. weird because my music isn't like Doja Cat, but Doja Cat, just does what she wants and she doesn't care how people look at her music so i think her creativity is so much fun so like i think the way that when sometimes she says like you know i don't care what people think about me i'll just do stuff for myself and you know as long as one person likes my music i think that's what's important to me like when i get messages saying like oh i showed wildflower to my mum," or i showed uh, we were like jeff the incredible jeff like uh, said a message in the Discord the other day that he sat down with his sister and ranked all my songs and like just I could just picturing them doing that like in their house and just like listening to my songs and ranking them and like listening to them and like enjoying them like is more than any having a thousand listens on a song or anything that's what makes me do it do you know what I mean yeah that was just in, like anything like that is what makes me want to do it it's insane the I amount know. of support them Guys and girls have showed you, honestly. I know, it's crazy. Like, mainly the support is from Topia, but, like, is that, I think it's actually brought in a lot of new members as well. As, mm-hmm. so, and that's not, that's, you know, I haven't, I haven't necessarily pushed the music, like, crazy outside of the Topia, so, you know. But, I mean, I ha- like, only on TikTok, really, so, yeah. Anyway. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on up. Here he is. Alan's trying to, Alan's trying to come out as a singer, guys. Nah. We love it. <laughs> we love it. Sorry, I'm just looking at these and I'm like, hmm. Mm. Any mm. question further about me? I'm in the mood. To, I'm in the mood to spill some tea. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I can't think. I'm sipping my tea. Mm. What skills have you learned that will help you in your singing career? Skills. Do you mean singing or like making music? Because singing and making music is different. Let's do both. <laughs> singing I always I wouldn't like I'm never going to come out and say like I'm Celine Dion do you know what I mean I'm not like do you know what I mean I love I've actually kind of had a new favourite thing of just like singing live on stream which I really want to push further when I get my new set up in like a new home and stuff I'm going to get like loads of fun stuff for that like I'm just doing that on the sideline for a minute but <laughs> I always think like the main thing I've learned about music is that no I, I mean inspiring is Lana Del Rey for like what singing voices because she has gotten a beautiful voice but 
she can't sing every single song. So I think looking at people, you can't go into things expecting to sing. If someone said, can you sing me that song? You can't expect to like be able to sing every single song that's ever been made. You know, there's some songs that you'll sound incredible at. There's some songs you'll sound okay at. There's some songs that you'll never be able to sing. So I think finding your voice is what's important and don't compare yourself to other people. Um, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, so making finding song. your niche is what you're basically saying. Yeah, exactly. So I always make music from a point of view where, you know, I think I th- sound the way I want to sound. But um, making music is different because, I don't know, the way I like to sound in, in making music is just, I don't know, like a lot, of, a lot goes into making music. So I think it's just about having fun again. But also there's something really therapeutic about it and like overlaying layers and like ad libs and like mm-hmm. there's, so, there's some songs on the album that like... <laughs> that when we do the deep dive later in the year that i was talking about this it's just it's mainly just about i don't know there's some songs that are so heavily produced but there's some songs that don't need to be heavily produced because you know they're a bit sad or they're you know they're you're meant to hear the lyrics but you know there's a certain song which is like there's one song on the album which isn't even a song it's more of an interlude i'm calling it and it the only word for it is effing mental like it's just effing mental like it's it it's it meant it's me, it's made to gag you like what the fuck just happened in a good way hopefully <laughs> like hey, you're gonna yo. be <laughs> yeah you're gonna be <laughs> like it's nothing it's you're no one's gonna expect it like it's nothing that you've ever heard like it's just gonna be insane like it's just it's just it's it's like a fun weird. I don't know. I couldn't even describe it to you. Uh, little J is coming though. Jake and Little J. Oh my god. My my alter ego. Oh my it's god. The, it's let out on oh an interlude. No. You're not ready. Oh no. I mean, I like some of the lyrics and the songs that I made. It's just you know, you know, some they can get a bit violent. You know, little if all if you think Jay was mad on at the end of all you need, just you wait until the album, guys. Oh, just you wait until that one song. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I can't even. I can't. You even know what it. song I'm on about as well. Yeah, that song is the one yeah. that brought me to tears. I don't know how it brought you to tears though, because I played it for Alan. It's not even done. Like it's nowhere near done. Yeah, but it was just the <laughs> okay, meaning yeah. behind it. But I don't yeah. want to go into it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we can't. We're not. We're gonna have to skip past that song on the deep dive for the album because Alan's just gonna have to break down in tears. You gonna be like that? <laughs> Anywho, let's <laughs> moving on. Moving swiftly on. Oh, there's so many questions. Right, let's talk about wildflower. <laughs> wildflower. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Every time Jay in his stream says wildflower, I end up singing it. And I That's can't the point. It. Yes. How long did it take to produce slash make Wildflower? Ooh la la, I love that question. Um, <laughs> so I made, Wildflower's one of the first ones I ever made. I think the idea of Wildflower came like maybe a year and a half ago. Like it's one of my older songs. So like having it out is really weird. Um, but it took a long time. Like um, with the chorus, like if you listen to it really carefully, like there's a lot of underlayers and like, especially like the whole like, Hunt me down. Like that bit there is just like there was a there's a lot in the background, like the wildflower and like the echoes and Yeah. Um Yeah, the whole point of Wildflower, I wanted to sound different than I did on Haunted. Like I wanted to be more upbeat, I wanted my voice to be like, you know, louder, like, you know, I wanted it to be but it wasn't it wasn't like necessarily like, oh my god, the most difficult thing I ever made. Like it, it, it took it took time, but only because with songs, you need to perfect it, you know. There can't be a bit where you're like, Oh, that didn't sound that great, like this needs to be played repeat, repeated, 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 and I don't want anything to be wrong on it, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. What did you think about All You Need doing better than Wildflower? Did it you know hurt what? you? It, no, no, not at all. I, I went, people asked me that, and I said, it doesn't hurt me because my song's doing well, so why should I feel upset if my song's doing well? Like, Wildflower will always be a special place in my heart, and it's mm-hmm. always, it's, I've asked, some people ask, like, um, you know, people would say, oh, I prefer Wildflower, I prefer All You Need, or, like, I like them both, but I prefer Wildflower, like, stuff like that. That's fine. If you prefer them, I don't care which song you prefer, as long as you like one of them. 
I think personally, Wildflower is a great summer song. I think you know it's it's like a song that can always be on the album. Beat vibe to it. Yeah, and as long as you can come back to the song and listen to it, that's fine. I don't care what numbers it does on release. Do you know what I mean? Like it's still got great numbers behind it. And um, I said to Rosa Serial, I was like, all you need is either gonna absolutely flop or absolutely overtake Wildflower and be insane. And it did do that, which is fine. But I don't. I wouldn't use the word overshadow because I think for maybe a couple of days it was like only all you need overshadowed. But as it died down a little bit, I do think Wildflower is equally as loved. Like I think yeah, it is. I've had equal amount of messages. I, I did know that. Like they're two different vibes. They're both upbeat. They're, I, I released All You Need as a bonus track because I made All You Need literally probably last month. And I was like, I want this out now. Like, the whole point of my singles before the album is to, to show you the vibes of the album, give you what, you know, and I knew hopefully people would like it and that's what I've got. So, and if I didn't release it, it wouldn't be on the radio, it wouldn't be, you know, so yeah. Agreed. Yeah. So where did the inspiration from Wildflower actually come from? Um, the main... About a Sorry, year and a half ago. I put you off a sec. I could just imagine you sitting in the garden looking at a flower. <laughs> I don't know why. Just looking at a flower. Wild flower. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I ran to my room and recorded it. No. Um, <laughs> the whole point of the wildflower, this, like, the metaphor behind wildflower is being yourself. Like wildflower in the breeze, painting colour where the world can't see. Like in a dark place, be that person that's going to stand out as a wildflower in that room or wherever you go in the workplace, be that person that's unique. Like, don't be afraid of being unique. Like, I think especially in, like, modern day, people try and filter into norms and wear different clothes. Like, just be yourself. That's what it's about being about. And I often, like, look at my friends sometimes, especially, like, one friend, where I don't want to name drop anyone, but, like, I'm always, like, um, there's a lyric that says, why do you hide when you're the beam of light that keeps me from falling in the darkest nights? Because I look at that friend sometimes, I'm like, why are you shy? Because you make me so happy, like, in the dark, because when I'm sad, you know how to lift me up. So I hate, I hate going out and, like, seeing you not being yourself or other people hurting you because you are the wildflower in the breeze painting colour. Like, that's what you are to me. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's got such a beautiful meaning behind it. I know. See, like, my songs do have meaning, guys. So, like, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's from the Mesh Bind Wildflower. Um, I'm nearly in tears, are you? <laughs> it's not about you, Alan. Get over it. Fuck. <laughs> I'm joking. They're all oh, about yeah. you. They're all about you. <laughs> so, speaking of hidden meanings behind music. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the hidden meanings behind yours. <laughs> okay, go for it. So, someone asked, is there any hidden meaning in any of your music? Um, the I songs say, that yeah, carry on. What you say? I say you talk about haunted because you were talking about the hidden meaning behind haunted to start off with. Yeah, so in the deep dive, I always talk about haunted. I think haunted is definitely a huge emotion that I felt, and that's probably the hidden meaning. Like haunted definitely has the most out of all the songs that are out has the most hidden meanings. Like it's not really taking. Apart from the bridge, which is, you know, the, you know, like the you thought you could, like that bit. I, mm-hmm. that's having a shot of someone, but it's none of, Haunted isn't about having shots to it, it's about how I felt. Like, there are songs in the album that are just about taking shots at people, you know, like, bow down, do you know what I mean? Like, get out of the way, I'm in charge now, do you know what I mean? That's what all you need is about, like, I'm, you know, I'm, it's such a different vibe to Haunted, which is what I wanted. But, um... In terms of hidden meanings, I don't... I mean, the wildflower like meaning is kind of a hidden meaning, like I just explained, but I wouldn't say there's necessarily a hidden meaning. I think haunted, the haunted meaning isn't really hidden. It's, mm-hmm. it's kind of obvious, but all you need isn't about anyone. No. All you need is me. It's just like, I'm great. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so... Oh, I don't know which one to ask you. Okay, I'm going to go back on to you for the last two questions and then we're going to move back into 
wildflower and okay and, and this is haunted all you need <laughs> <laughs> so where do you see your musical career in 10 years i think last time we asked you where you sitting it in five years in 10 years i mean the weird thing is i have all my music planned out like i love having a plan so i do i like the idea of having albums linking together different albums having different vibes and i like trilogies so i do think that you know the album that's coming might have you know another album another album that kind of link together and tell different points of the story or you know the whole point of the album that's coming out is different vibes you know i want the whole i want you to listen from the first song to the last song in order to get the story and how you can overcome it and like but then the next maybe two albums, which I, you know, I've got ideas for anyway, because, you know, I think it's really important to have a plan. So have a direction where you're going. Definitely. I, you know, I'm not going to be like, I want to be big. I want to be famous, but I just hope that my music reach more people. And, you know, I really like making music. And I think the more music I release, the more I really want to just have that as my thing. And I think, yeah, I would just want to be happy with my music and carry on doing the stuff that I want to do. Like I love having freedom and, you know, I have so many ideas where I like I listen to beats and I listen to ideas that I've had ages ago. I'm like, I would just love to explore that idea. Like, I'd love to explore, like, I don't know, like, folk music, like, Folklore by Taylor Swift. That's really inspired me. Like, that kind of just, like, lots of, like, melody, like, slower songs. Like, just like a whole, do you know, I just like a whole album, like the haunted section on my album that's coming out. Like, there's... The whole, I call it the haunted section, so the vibes that are like haunted in a bit more, just like a whole album like that, where it's very personal, very well written, and, you know, just one for the fans. It's not to be on TikTok or be famous. I just, I think music should be personal. I don't think it should go into music being like, I don't want to sit down and be like, I'm making a hit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I'd like to do a really personal album, and then I would just like to do an absolute bonkers album. <laughs> So yeah, I think there is a bit of bonkers on the album that's coming, mm -hmm. which is maybe a hint into the future, but mm -hmm. I used to just carry on having fun. And basically this album that's coming in the year is showing all the vibes that I want to go for because everything can coexist in this album perfectly. And the name of the album will be revealed soon. Um I'm yeah. excited for you to reveal it because I already know what it is. Yeah, and it is actually coming pretty soon. Like, it's not, it's not like end end of the year. Like, it's not December, but it's not summer. Like, it's not too far away. It's not no. And there is obviously new music on the way before that because yeah, it's Jay. You can't stop. But yeah, <laughs> I've, I'm so... sitting. I'm sitting on about fifty songs. Just let me release them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I think we asked you this last time, but mm. if the people didn't hear the last episode, how did you first get into music? I mean, I listen to music all the time, so I never, I never thought personally I'd be able to do it. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm very inspired by other people, but like, I think the first ever songs I wrote was I was very upset at the time, so I kind of found it like a therapy session. Yeah. And then after that, I was like, this is fun. Like, let's try something like this. Like, let's try like a bit of indie rock, like Wildflower. And then I was like, oh my God, that works. I can do that. Why don't I try a bit of dark pop, like all you need? And then like, it just went from there. Once, you, once I started, I was like, I cannot stop. And that's literally why I'm sitting like, I don't know. I think people sometimes might get confused. Like, how does he have so many songs to release? It's not because I have just make songs instantly. Like, I don't release Haunted and then go, okay, I'm going to make a song now. Like, I have these songs ready to go. And the main thing I want to do before the album is get my songs out there to you guys so you can have them to listen to. But also every song brings in new people. So I want to gather more people in before the album. And then basically the album will have like 11 new songs on it. But, you know, I want to release some of the songs off the album beforehand to get people, you know, excited for the album as well. So, yeah, and basically I'm releasing a new song every like six to eight weeks and stuff like that. And, you know, Jeez. yeah. Right. Let's move back in to Wildflower and All You Need. For the last two questions. Hello. Ooh. So, let's talk about how you wasn't going to release All You Need. Okay. How, how did it actually make you feel seeing such a positive uptake from a song you weren't going to release? I think, like, it was so crazy. When I made the song, I was like, oh, this is, like, so different to 
the other songs I've made. But like, it's so much fun that like, I, I, pers- I personally really liked it. So I think it's really important to like your own music. But like, I personally loved it. And then I showed it to one of my like really good friends in the University Serial who always listens to all my music so I can get another opinion you on it. Me? I, then I showed you as well. So I, showed, I wanted to show as many people as possible all you need because I was like very scared that people weren't going to like it. And then I released it, luckily. And I woke up that day and people were like, this is insane. Like, this is crazy. Like, this sounds so good. And I was just like, it was like a massive sense of relief. Like, oh my God, people actually like this. And yeah, it was just like amazing. And then it all just went out from there. Like, it was getting crazy amount of listens, like... I was getting so many crazy DMs on Instagram and stuff. And like, I started using it in like reels and TikTok and like, I started showing my other friends and like, yeah, I think it filled me with a sense of confidence that, like, Oh my God, people actually like this. I can, I like, I like, I like the freedom that it gave me. And then I started making, and then I kind of looked at the album. I was like, I want a few more songs like that. So yeah, <laughs> I think I actually kind of, all you need made me rethink everything. Cause I was like, okay, I want a few more songs actually like that to fiddle into the album like that's uh so there's you know it's actually birthed some a new wave of music behind the scenes that you can get soon yeah yeah i'm gonna add a question sorry okay <laughs> why wasn't you going to release all you need i just think it was really out there and i was scared that people were gonna think it was like a bit immature and mm-hmm. like a bit not lousy, but like it was a bit like, oh, this is like a bit underwhelming, like, or a bit like crazy. Not like crazy, but like it was just like, I don't know, like it, cause I don't know. I think that's kind of how I describe it. It was like, it was so different. I don't want people to be like, oh my God, this is a bit weird. Like, he can't make music. Like, what was that? Like, he's gone from haunted to all you need. Like, that's a bit, such a jump. So, yeah. Um, but I sent it to a producer, like, sometimes I send music to producers just to get, like, feedback on it. Like, it's a website, you can do that, and like loads, I know loads of things do that. And, like, most people were positive, and then this one person was like, this will probably not even get 100 listens. And then I was like, oh. He was like, yeah, you need to go back to this one. It was the only person that said it, and that was kind of, like, put me on an iffy about it, like, double-thinking it. And then I sent it back to him a couple of days ago. I was like, 1,800 listens in one week. So, yeah, bow down. That's insane. So I was like, yeah, it's like... You were wrong, so don't listen to... That's what, I think that's the main message to other people. Don't listen to other people. Mm-hmm. I mean, with, I think, with, I think miss you, any musician would feel this, but, like, after a song's released, there's always stuff that you could be like, oh, I could have done that differently, but I'm happy with how it is, and I, you know? You wouldn't have released it if you wasn't happy with it. Yeah, exactly. I, there's, it. there's so many songs that I've cut where I'm like, ugh, this, is, this isn't up to standard, or this isn't how I, I... This isn't, like... If I don't love a song, I won't release it. I have to love a song. If I'm, like up and down about a song i just i won't do it yeah that's that's the right way to do it though yeah exactly right let's hit with the last question Wow, last question yeah and then we're going on to community feedback <laughs> hey hey okay so i want to know which song did you think hit harder out of all you need and wildflower would have been hit harder like what do you mean by that? Which one do you think basically sounded the best, I would say? That's how I'm seeing it as. I think Wildflower, when I first made Wildflower, I was so happy with it. I was like, this is so fun. Like, it was instantly stuck in my head. So whenever I play Wildflower, it instantly gets stuck in their head. Like, you always say it gets stuck in your head. Mm-hmm. So I was really happy with it because I've always wanted, like, an indie rock summary upbeat song like especially after haunted like i wanted to show like i can make i'm gonna make happy songs too like don't worry about it um so i i always knew that was gonna be the second single because i wanted to sign like that but then all you need as soon as i'm all you need what i tend to do my music i tend to then go put my headphones in like go out of my room where i make my music and take my studio headphones off and put like my airpods in and go like make a cup of tea or go like wash my face get ready for bed while i was playing the song i was like this is filling me with so much confidence like I was like, you know, I feel like it was really filling me with confidence and like, I feel like it was catchy. I thought it was like kind of an anthem. Like I could see it like having potential of like live opportunity and like, I've always wanted a song like that as well. So I was really happy that I actually had a song like that. Like it, it was kind of like surreal. I get what you mean. So I think all you need, they both hit in different ways, but I think all you need was like, 
I never thought I could make a song like that. And when I did, it opened up a whole new chapter of music mm-hmm. that I think everyone's going to see of just confidence. Like, it's not about, you know, people making you upset or, you know, trying to be happy or, like, being happy. I think the album's, like, regretful, like, regretful, sad, you know, maturing music to then wildflower, happy reviving music and then it gets to a stage of like the all you need section where it's just like i'm full of confidence now nothing can stop you like let's just go for it now like once that interlude hits you're gonna be like transported to a whole new dimension i think i love that so yes i love that (laughs) love it i just love it i love it right let's get on to community (laughs) feedback yay so we asked your beautiful community. As always, you know, I love doing my feedback forms. You Bloody do, love them. We had four responses, unfortunately. L- no, to be fair, you put this out, like, literally yesterday. And I have I not never. streamed. No, no, it's not your fault. But, Maybe like... First, I put it out. Get it right. <laughs> and to be fair, I think I, I've answered a lot of questions already. You have. So, so yeah. I'm going to reveal the names of who's actually responded. Okay. Jeff. Love Jeff. Bow down to Jeff. Fox. I love Fox or Fox. We're going to call them. I call them Fox. Fox. Yeah. Vader. We love Vader. Oh, I love Vader. And the fi- my favourite person of all. James. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Roasted. Jappy. No. Jappy. Yeah. I love Jappy. So, we asked them, are there any questions you'd like to ask about Wildflower and All You Need? And their questions was actually put in to my questions. Okay. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. The second question we asked them was, tell us which one is your favourite song. It was between Wildflower and All You Need, obviously. Yeah. Out of the two that have been released. 75% said Wildflower. See, this is what I mean. So, the numbers are different with All You Need. Like they're higher, but then I think people also prefer wildflowers. So I think that's why I don't look at numbers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's weird. It is. It's so great. And 25% said all you need. Yeah, but then, yeah, it's so like that's great. Like I love that. Yeah. I agree. I love that so much. So we then asked Do you have any other questions to Jay relating as an artist? Relating to Jay as an artist? Yeah. One person asked when Nana Light Song when? Nana Light Song when? Um, Nana will never. Well, Nana's obviously not going to sing a song, but I'm not going like, to say anything, but like, there is a really special song that, you know, might, might refer to my Nan. And, you know, but, you know, we're not going to talk about that yet, but, you know, Nana Light, you know, she's coming, you know, in, a, in, a, in some format, and we love her. I'm not saying anything else. Not saying anything else. Will you ever make songs featuring other people? Mm. Yes, definitely. Um, I do an acting platform, so I'm part of an acting group that I've sadly just left literally two days ago. It was our last show on Sunday, and this full of such talented singers and there's one singer who I'm like really close friends with like they're all like a family and she she's always wanted to make music and she knows about music and I think I'm praying at some point there is a song on the album that I would love her to get on um I'll tell you after because you know the name of it but um Ooh. It, it's um I think she would sound I've played it for her and, and she would like I was like if you ever want to be on the song like I haven't forced her to, like, I'm saying, just come back to me. Like, she, like, if you ever want to do it, like, you would just sound so beautiful in the song. So I, I, I think definitely in the future I would be up for collaborating. But only, I'm not, like, a huge fan of, like, collaborating with people that I don't really, like, know. I'm not going to collaborate with someone random. Like, someone, have, they would have to have to come to me and ask. Or I would go up to, like, a friend that I know can sing. Or, like, someone that's, you know, an inspiring musician that I know. And Not Alan. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you mean, but I'm just saying, not me. So I yeah. cannot sing to save my yeah, life. Yeah, but like, 
in terms of that, like I know people around me that you know want to be musicians as well. So and they're just so like their voices are angelic, and I think definitely in the future, possibly, yeah, I would love to. It'd be so fun. One I'm not saying I'm going to come out with like an Adele feature yet, guys. Like, don't get like gassed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if you're talking about dream collaborators, you know that's a whole different subject. I love that. Yeah. What I made you want to become an artist? Uh, I feel like we've answered this one. Yeah, we've kind of answered that. Like, I think I just I. There was no sense where I was like, I'm going to be the biggest artist ever, like, putting a music out. But then I think now I want to be an artist because I've seen the reaction of people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We've answered that before, so yeah. <laughs> and the last one that I absolutely love. Oh, God. Why do you spoil so much of your future music? That was so jaffy, wasn't it? That was so jaffy. Do you want me to have a look? Yeah, it was so <laughs> jaffy. That was so jaffy. That's no one else that would be... Um, if, that's not, if that's not Jaffe, then I can say I do not spoil my music at all. I sometimes sing unreleased songs, but I don't spoil it to like hundreds of people that like if if I had like my whole audience watching me at the same time, I would not talk about any music. If there's like a couple of people watching my late night streams, I might sing an unreleased song because, you know. Not many people there. Yeah. And like. The album is a long ass album. You're going to be very mm-hmm. surprised. There's, like, you're, I'm not spawning anything. I can confirm it was Jappy. Yes, again. Jappy. Get off my neck, <laughs> Jappy. I, I love you, Jappy, but get off my neck. You know, <laughs> Jappy, Jappy knows nothing. Like, neither does, like, no one knows anything. Like, Rosa knows songs. <laughs> but, you, but even you don't know. I don't know everything. Is. Exactly. You don't know what's coming. So, like, I will really like I will tease what I want, but the main reason why I tease things is to get people excited. For I'm a small artist, I need to get hype going. Do you know what I mean? But um, agreed. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't say like I keep spoiling it because there's so much stuff. Like I probably sp- there's probably a couple songs that people know about that are coming, but they don't know about the other twelve, thirteen songs that are on the album. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. The last and final question that we asked at Beautiful Community. Beautiful, beautiful. And it was a question we actually asked them last time. Mm-hmm. And we've had some different responses now. Okay. Because seeing it as there was like sort of different these two new songs was. Yeah. Got, what type of music would you like to hear Jay produce in the future? Okay. A bit far fetched, but reggae. <laughs> reggae. Was that Jeff? I don't think so. I love Jeff. I just love it. I know Jeff's a fan of Bob Marley, so. I don't know, <laughs> Jeff. Maybe not reggae. Sorry. That, uh, yeah. One sec. I'm just checking. Was it Jeff? It was so was Jeff, because Jeff was telling me to watch the Bob yeah. Marley film. Yeah. It was Jeff. Maybe Jeff. Maybe we can get Nana Light on some reggae. Box. Yeah. Fed. Definitely metal. <laughs> I'm just a girl. No. Uh, I'm not a fan of metal. I mean, I like the whole effect of metal, so maybe... I don't know. Maybe not metal. Maybe not metal. Vader said upbeat and uh, some with the same kind of vibe as Wildflower. Yeah, that's coming. Don't you worry. And then our beautiful Jappy said more dancing hype music. That's definitely coming. Trust me. There's a song... That is on the album that I know Jappy's gonna absolutely die when they hear it. So, yeah. And that for me is a wrap. I don't so, say yay like in a bad way, but that was really good. We really dived into it. That was amazing. I'm gonna hand it back over to your beautiful podcast. Back over to you. Thank you so much. So I know we've been here for about 50 minutes now, guys. I'm probably going to wrap it up for you guys. I just want to say we're going to be back with two weeks, uh, in, in, with two weeks, in two weeks, this is another general episode where we'll probably catch up on everything that's happened in the last month or so, because there's a lot that's gone down. Um, I'm wishing you all an amazing um, rest of your day. And I just want to say a massive thank you for tuning in. And if you want to check out the music, if you haven't yet, um, just type in J on Spotify or, you know, you're best to find like J all you need. It's on my socials. and 
thanks to everyone listening. It means the absolute world. I know people come in and said they listen to the podcast episodes today and just like everything about it means the absolute world. And I promise you I haven't gone anywhere and so much more to come. And yeah, we will um, catch we'll up with you back. in more. We'll be back and we'll catch up with you more personally uh, soon. So without further ado, I think uh, we'll just say goodbye. Thank you so much for coming in today, guys. Have a great rest of your day and goodbye. Bye.